Hi everybody and uh, welcome to our weekly tips for transforming lateral violence in your community. Today we're going to be talking about um, the whole concept of um, withholding the the need to point out where other people are doing uh, lateral violence. Sometimes what can happen is when we first learn about this subject and or we've been in a workshop, whether it's our workshop or somebody else's, we're excited about the new knowledge we have and we want to share it with other people and we also have a tendency to want to point out when other people are doing it. Uh, and what we're s recommending is that you avoid uh, the um, any need to feel feel like doing that so what ha that really just perpetuates the cycle when we sort of point a finger and say you're doing lateral violence or that is lateral violence it just perpetuates um, the cycle by uh, creating more separation um, and uh, impacting our ability to communicate with each other because when we point the finger at anybody there's we're polarizing against them and um, we're we're creating two oppositional positions one being right and one being wrong so in our workshop what we do is we, we work with people to sort of get an understanding first of all defining lateral violence for yourself an understanding of what behaviors um, are disturbing for you in particular and then being able to respond differently to them as opposed to pointing out uh, where it's happening or talking about other people who are doing it as if they're the problem and trying to uh, figure out how to fix those people because that's not that's not going to um, transform lateral violence either so first thing you want to do is uh, think about how you would ideally respond uh, to uh, people or behaviors that are triggering for you um, and in changing our own behavior in our relationships we other people change their behavior towards us uh, lateral violence is something that can be very triggering and if we are if we get caught by the behaviors and we find ourselves uh, responding in a trigger way again we're going to be perpetuating the cycle so um, avoid pointing out where other people are doing it and ask yourself um, how do I want to respond when I see these behaviors showing up another recommendation that we have is that uh, if you and another group of people in your organization or your community or family are interested in improving the health of your relationships and improving the communication get together and um, talk about how you would ideally like things to be and how you would like to respond to lateral violence when it, when it shows up. We want to separate the behavior from, from the people. We don't want to make people in our community wrong if they are displaying uh, behaviors that we feel are inappropriate. The truth of the matter is, is that at one time or another we all are in that position of having acted out in a way that might be harmful to ourselves and other people. Um, and we can all understand what it's like to be in that position. So. Uh, we want to avoid getting into the roles of sort of uh, abuser or victim um, and we want to be able to step outside of ourselves for a moment, outside of the situations that we face on a day-to-day -day basis and have a really good conversation about what's our stance on lateral violence, um, what will our response to it be when it shows up and how do we ensure that people feel cared for in our community um, regardless of their behaviors because the one thing that we know for sure is that people are much more willing to change if they feel loved and accepted for who they are as soon as we start to make it wrong it actually the the symptoms and the behaviors exacerbate and escalate so um, first thing don't point out where other people are doing it uh, avoid uh, labeling groups or people or trying to fix other people uh, and three Think about how you'd like to respond to lateral violence. How what how would you change your behavior in response to it? And uh, get together and talk with other people who care about the community, who want to create positive change, and talk about how you would transform lateral violence in a way that is inclusive and cares for everybody, uh, regardless of of behaviors. And separate behavior from people. So have a great week and uh, we'll talk to you next week, everyone. Bye.